Have you ever felt alone in a room full of people? Do you feel as if nobody truly understands you? Do you feel empty, lost, hopeless or worthless? Does your anxiety stop you from doing things you want to do in your life? Are you depressed and don't know who to turn to for help or guidance? Are you currently struggling with your mental health? You never have to feel alone again. We understand you. We feel exactly like you do and we are here to support you. Share your story, connect with like-minded people, learn more about mental illnesses and how you can improve your mental health. Together, we can make a difference and together, we can reduce the stigma. Welcome to Authentic Mental Health. The World Health Organization estimates that one in four people worldwide will be affected by a mental health disorder at some point during their lives. But how do you know if you're affected by a mental health disorder? What signs or symptoms should you look out for? And how do you know when to seek help? Here are 10 mental illness signs you should not ignore. Number one, stomach pain. Reoccurring stomach pain is usually associated with indigestion or acid reflux. But did you know indigestion is also associated with anxiety disorders too? People who suffer from anxiety disorders often compare these stomach pains by saying they feel like they have a knot in their stomach or they feel sick to the pit of their stomach. I'm sure you've heard those sayings before. Every time someone gets anxious or stressed, our brain sends signals down to our gut to slow it down, which puts our digestion on hold. Our brain does this so it can focus on eliminating the threat. People who struggle with anxiety disorders are anxious a lot of the time. So this often leads to stomach pain, stomach cramps and bloating. Number two chronic pain. Depression can cause unexplained aches and pains such as headaches. It's estimated that people who are living with depression are three times more likely to get and experience chronic pain. So if you're experiencing unexplained aches or pains, it could be a sign of a mental illness. Number three, repetitive behaviors. This is another sign of an anxiety disorder. People who suffer from anxiety disorders tend to feel restless most of the time and subconsciously do repetitive behaviors, such as tapping their foot, talking faster than usual, or biting their nails. Number four, withdrawing from society. Everybody is different. Some people love to go out and socialize whilst others are quiet and reserved. But if you're withdrawing from society, your family, your friends, and prefer to be alone, it could be a sign of depression or bipolar disorder. Yes, it's okay to have some me or alone time. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody does that. But if that me and alone time turns into doing it the majority of the time, then it could be a sign of a mental illness. Number five, dramatic mood changes. It's okay to feel sad, emotional, or angry. However, if you're experiencing unreasonable, dramatic emotional outbursts, such as crying regularly, or becoming angry over minor things, it could be a sign of a mental illness. Number six, constant sadness. If you feel empty inside, numb, teary, or constantly sad, it could be a sign you're dealing with depression. You may have the perfect life on the outside, but depression doesn't care who you are, what you have, where you live, or how old you are. Depression can and does affect anyone. Number seven, worrying about everything. It's natural to sometimes worry about certain things or situations. 
But if worrying becomes a part of your daily life and daily routine and affects the way you live your life, it could be a sign of an anxiety disorder. Number eight, changes in sleep. Constantly disturbed or irregular sleep may be a sign of a mental illness. Sleeping too much, too little or not at all could be a sign of a sleeping disorder, depression or an anxiety disorder. Number nine, changes in appetite and weight. Appetite and weight changes are a common symptom of depression. Some people may lose interest in eating, whilst others may indulge in binge eating. If you've noticed a change in your appetite or weight, it could be a sign of depression. Number 10, feeling guilty. Blaming yourself for everything that goes wrong, being too critical of yourself, having a low self-esteem, or feeling worthless could be a sign of a mental illness such as depression. If you notice any of these 10 signs of a mental illness you should not ignore, I would highly recommend you speak to someone immediately. Please speak to a doctor or a mental health professional so you can find out if in fact you are suffering from a mental illness. You can also click the link in the description box down below where you can speak to someone immediately and begin to get the help you need to get your life back on track. The link is in the description box down below. I now want to hear from you guys and girls at home. Could you relate to any of these 10 signs? Let me and others know in the comment section down below and let's show others they are not alone here in this community. If you found this video helpful and useful, please give this video a like. If you're new here, please subscribe to Authentic Mental Health to join a community of like-minded people just like you. Take care guys and girls, and I'll see you all again in another video.